वेलकम टू क्लास ऑफ डिजाइन ऑफ स्टील स्ट्रक्चर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द वोल्टेड कनेक्शन आई एम मिस्टर एस एस सौगुले असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट सो वी हैव सीन द अर्लियर दैट कनेक्शन बेसिकली आर ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स रिवेटेड कनेक्शन बोल्टेड कनेक्शन एंड वेल्डेड कनेक्शन सो वी हैव सीन द रिवेटेड कनेक्शन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी द बोल्टेड कनेक्शन नाउ there is not such difference in riveted and bolted connection in case of the working or rather we can say uh, how they transfer the load or transfer the force but there is a difference in the looks as well as uh, somewhat the installing operations so bolted connections basically this is the bolt and this is nut so here you can e see the nut bolt arrangement this is the bolted connection this is the angles connected by bolted connection and this is another the seat type connection by using bolts so why we are going to prefer riveting Uh, bolting rather than the riveting so riveting is no longer used because the introduction of high strength structural bolts the labor cost associated with large riveting crews then the cost involved in careful inspection and removal of poorly installed rivets once we install rivets it is not easy to remove them because we have seen the installing procedure by heating or cold hammering we are going to install so it is uh, again the challenging task to remove that poorly installed rivet and install a new rivet then high level of noise associated with the driving of rivets so that's why we are going to prefer the bolts now the bolted connection a bolt may be defined as a metal pin with a head at one end and shank threaded at other end to receive nut as shown in figure here you can see the figure so steel washers are usually provided under the bolt as well as under the nut to serve two purposes one to distribute the clamping pressure of on the bolted members and second to prevent the threaded portion of bolt from bearing of connection connecting pieces so these are the two main purposes cause if we tighten the nut that nut is produce some kind of pressure on the plates or the members so they are undergone to the bearing so to disperse that force or to distribute that force on more area that washer has been provided same case is there in case of head so here you can see the bolt assembly head is shown over here these are the steel washers this is the bolt length this is the grip which is in between and this is the nut so this is the bolt assembly here you can see the ordinary hexagonal head bolt uh, which we familiar to or we are going uh, we are watching in day to day life this is ordinary square head bolt this is locking nut by quarter pin this is the quarter pin we used to lock here and this is the castle nut and this is the high strength bolt basically in high strength bolt the clamps or the nut and bolt assembly has been tightened so much that it is transferring the load by the friction itself now the bolted connection the fast the bolted connection is fastened together primarily by bolts the bolts may loaded in the tension shear or both shear and tension the thread uh, threads of bolt under shear force the excluded are the increase in uh, increased in strength and included are decreased in strength hmm? now the types of bolts the bearing types of bolts are unfinished bolt turn bolt and rib bolt 
and second is the high strength bolts so the most common type in bearing bolts in clearance hole is often referred as black bolt it is also called as a unfinished bolt these are used for light structure these are ordinary unfinished rough and common bolts these are least expensive and this is used for light structure that is purely in bracing etc under static loads these are not recommended for the connection subjected to impact load vibrations and fatigues bolts are forged from low carbon rolled steel circular rods permitting large tolerance ordinary structural bolts are made up from mild steel with square or hexagonal rod which is shown over here that is the b figure and square head costless but hexagonal head gives the better appearance and easier to hold by the wrenches and required less turning space the bolt hole is punched about 1.6 mm more than the bolt diameter and the nuts on the bolt are tightened with spud wrenches producing little tension therefore no clamping force is introduced on the sections joint sometimes the hole is drilled into the bolt and the quarter pin with a castle nut is used to prevent the nut from turning on the bolt as shown in this figure as we have seen earlier the connection with unfinished bolts are designed in a similar way as all riveted connection except that the permissible stresses are reduced to account the tolerance provided on the shank and thread end portion of these bolts the requirements regarding the pitch and edge distance are same as the rivets the permissible stresses are as given in table number 8.1 of is 81984 -1984. so this is all about the black bolts now the turn bolts these are similar to the unfinished bolt with the difference that the shank of the bolts is formed of hexagonal rod the surface of bolts are provided sorry are prepared carefully and are machined to fit in the hole tolerance allowed are very small these bolts have high shear and bearing resistance as compared to unfinished bolt however these bolts are obsolete nowadays and the specification for these bolts are, are given in IS 2591-1969 now the rib bolts these are also called fluted bolts the head of the bolt is like a rivet head and the thread and nut is provided on the other hand of the shank other end of the shank from the shank core longitudinal ribs project making the diameter of the shank more than the diameter of the hole these ribs cut grooves into the connected members while tightening ensure the tight fit these bolts have more resistance to vibration as compared to the ordinary bolts the permissible stresses of rib bolts are same as that for the rivets so here you can see this area is kept as it is and this is working as a rivet now the high strength bolts these are the called also called as a friction type bolts these are made up of the bar of medium carbon steel they are high strength achieved through the wrenching and tempering process or by alloying the steel steel washers of hard steel or carburized steel are provided to evenly distribute the clamping pressure on the bolted member and to prevent the threading portion of the bolt on bearing of bearing on the connection pieces if bolts are tightened by the turn of nut method the nut is made up of snug and is tightened a half turn more by hand wrenches 
then the washers are not required the vibrations and impact resistance of the joint is also improved the nut and head of the bolt is kept sufficiently large to provide the adequate bearing area the specification of high strength bolts are laid in is 3757 1972 and is 4000 1967 these bolts have a tensile strength several times than ordinary bolts high strength bolts have replaced rivets and are being used in structure such as high rise building bridges machines etc due to their distinct advantage and vital use high strength bolts are mostly preferred in above connections now the advantage of bolt first is the bolting operation is very silent we are tightening the bolts with the wrench so the bolting operating uh, operation is very much silent in the, as compared to the uh, riveting now second is bolting is a cold process hence no risk of fire is there as we have seen earlier in case of riveting we need to hit the rivet so uh, that danger has been re, uh, or that um, danger of hitting has been removed by this cold process the bolting operation is more quicker than the riveting only we need to tighten the uh, nut that's why it is quite quick then less manpower is required for the making the connections then these advantages if subject if it is uh, structure subjected to vibratory load there might uh, it might be result in the reduction of strength because the nut gets loosed sometimes then unfinished bolt have higher lesser strength because of non uniform diameter because it has the thread so it has the non uniform diameter that's why it has the lesser strength so this is for the today's lecture uh, as we have discussed earlier uh, there is a same design method as compared to the rivets uh, as same as the rivets so design of the bolts and the rivets is same only the change in there change in there in the strengths and that has been mentioned in the is 800 so this is for today's lecture thank you